Blanca Rip, a young French-Canadian psychology professor at Carnegie Mellon University, analyzed injury rates in two different groups of the dancers. Some of them felt that dance was the only thing that turned them on and agreed they were often unable to stop thinking about dance. She classified those dancers as being obsessively passionate. Meanwhile, she considered the dancer to be motivated by harmonious passion when they agreed with statements like, dance reflects the qualities I like about myself, and dance is in harmony with my other life activities. The two groups of the dancers weren't different in ability in performance or achievement. They were all volunteers of similar skill and experience from the Department of Dance at the University of Quebec. The question that her experiment would answer was, would the dancers motivated by an obsessive passion have more injuries than the dancers who loved to dance but loved other things as well? As a result, obsessive passion was very bad for a dancer's health. On the other hand, there was no meaningful relationship between having harmonious passion and having chronic injuries. When injured, dancers who are harmoniously passionate tended to display problem-focused and health-promoting strategies. They were more flexible in their rehabilitation process and actively sought future injury prevention skills. Obsessive passionate dancers, on the other hand, suffered longer with their injuries, frequently developed chronic injuries, in part because they ignored early signs of pain and discomfort and rigidly insisted on participating in dance training and performance despite injuries. They had difficulty accepting injury and suffered greater loss of psychological self-esteem when injured. Passion must be a necessary factor for success. But there are two types of passion, harmonious passion and obsessive passion. We should not forget that obsessive passion, not harmonious passion, can take us away from success and ruin our lives.